everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back with another episode of Astro Block. Or as I probably should say, the final episode of Astro Block. Very fun pack to play, and I think it's time to uh, wrap it up and move on to other things. So, before we go, I want to do a couple of things. Like, we're going to blast off the rocket one more time. I want to build one more thing, or at least play with one more thing. And I want to fight one more fight. And let's do that first. So coming in here, man, we got a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, I noticed that, you know, we'd gotten this pristine wither skeleton matter when we had gotten a quest reward. And, you know, I'm going to take wither skeleton skulls. And there we go. I'll take 18 of them. Thank you. And, you know, I know I can make nether stars one way. Uh, but, you know, oh, I don't have any soul sand. I don't have any soul sand. Okay, hellish matter and red sand. Ah, very cool. But, you know, I want to fight the wither. I know I could do it other ways, but, you know, this is just fun. Let's just go beat up a guy because we can. Uh, over here, yeah, I think this will work. I'm pretty sure I can spawn him. Like, I haven't tested it, but why wouldn't I be able to spawn him? So, let's see. Right there. Right there. All right, you. Boop, boop, boop. Yep, we can spawn him. All right. This shouldn't be a terrible fight, I don't think. Right? Like, I'm pretty overpowered, and of course, the sun's going down. That's just the way it always is. Let's get wound up here. Uh, wither. Patow! Right? Did I just almost kill the wither with this bow? Nice! Alright, let's just, uh, finish him off here. Right? There we go. Done. Did I... Okay, I was gonna say, did I not get another star from that? Like, wow. Alright, let's head back to the base. Now that we got our nether star, you know, there was a crafting recipe for nether stars, and I want to kind of use them a little bit here. Uh, so let's see, right over here, and let's go get our crafting recipe for nether stars. So let's see, a star right here, and it's extraterrestrial matter, soul sand, so I'm probably going to need to make a little bit more of that. And let's chuck all this stuff back in the system, and let's make four more, right? Uh... Got to put this stuff in there, too. There we go. And there's all the nether stars we need. We'll go upstairs. Let's see, right over to our matter overdrive process. And I added this block right here. This is the space-time accelerator, and I really dig the little bloop kind of, you know, particles coming off it, telling me the range of effect. And so it should be going faster to decompose more matter because it takes matter to do this. I really like that. It's like a tile accelerator. So let's see, matter analyzer. I think I've got room to analyze these guys. So I'm gonna analyze uh, five nether stars and take it to 100%. Okay, so I've got all my nether stars learned, right? I should be able to get this guy at a 100% chance, nice. And then, uh, let's see, you are a matter decomposer. Oh yeah, 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 you're doing this stuff right here. Is that what I want? Yeah, I want the matter decomposer. Can't I decompose, yeah, right there, a nether star and I can put uh, let's see, I can put you and you, I guess, in there, right? And you're going to decompose this nether star, and you should give me, you should give me a lot of matter, right? Uh, so you should give me a kilo matter, and this thing here can hold a kilo matter exactly. All right, so let's wait for this guy to break down. Okay, so here it goes. This should be fully deconstructed. Yeah, that's a lot of matter. And you should come into this guy and over into... Yeah, that was still connected. Okay, well, I mean, that gave me a lot of matter. It's just got to drain out of here. Like, I don't feel like it leaves fast enough. But maybe it's because I haven't ordered anything. Let's go ahead and order one nether star, right? And get this dude working. Are you doing it? I think you are. Right? Like, it's hard to tell sometimes. I don't know. I think it's working on it. Now, I was looking at this setup right here. And I think if I was going to leave this running, I'd find some permanent kind of generator you know, like this obsidian generator. And that way I could constantly be decomposing matter. Oh, I think it's doing something. Nether star, I don't feel like you're running. I don't feel like you're, uh, no, we needed a thing. I need a thing. Do you, do you have to go in here? I feel like this isn't working. Why aren't you working? Okay, so my guess on why this dude wasn't working right here is it doesn't have enough matter. Now, I went ahead and I made this upgrade right here, the matter storage upgrade. So, I mean, not that hard to make, right? Just ender pearls and stuff. But that was my best guess. Yeah, see, now that it's got the matter, now it can go ahead and make me another star. 
Nice. And I just got another nether star that's chewing on right now. I think those are like the last two that I can make. And I think this could only store like a maximum. Like if it couldn't take the whole thing, it just filled it up. I'm not entirely sure. Did the extra go over here? All right, so this guy is full too. All right, so you're gonna make me another star. Very nice. And there was a upgrade that I wanted to play with here. Uh, let's see, it is, it is over here somewhere, the hyper speed upgrade, which looks like a speed upgrade, plus a crystal, plus another star. And so, uh, you know what, let's put it in this guy here. Let's put it in this guy. And so I'm gonna take out a speed upgrade. Oh yeah, the one thing, you gotta have it on your hot bar. Uh, so right there, put you in there. Oh yeah, right, like you're gonna, you're gonna cruise now. Hmm, you know, I might disconnect this guy. Oh, where's my hammer? Where is the hammer? Because I might want to make another one of those after all of the matter uh, gets dealt with. All right, so right there, we don't need the space-time accelerator anymore. Yeah, so it's all, it's all just dealing with this. Okay, so I have to make things to take that out. All right, well, I mean, that's what I kind of wanted to learn about is how to make this system a little better. All right, so next thing that I want to do is I want to go play with the black hole, uh, with our gravitational anomaly. So let's jump down there. Let me just get out this dude here. Let's go to our, uh, I don't know, our generator, if that's what you want to call it, and let's play with that thing. All right, so down here with our gravitational anomaly, it is pretty big, actually, right? It's still 7,000 whatever a tick, and it's got a little bit of, yeah, it's got a little bit of extra matter in it, right? It's running... And, oh yeah, this thing's at zero. I think it's because everything else is full, but whatever. Now, let's make it even bigger. Let's see how close, yeah, I can only get that close to it. So I brought some matter with me, and let's just, you know, feed this dude stacks and stacks and stacks of things. Uh, I think my magnet is bringing stuff back to me. Let's, uh, let's take the... <laughs> oh man, that was my teleporter. <laughs> right, let's take the magnet off. And here we go, stacks and stacks. Just feed this guy as much as I possibly can. We'll go make a new teleporter here. All right, and what are you at now? So you're at 8,000 RF a tick. All right, so the thing I said I was going to do, the thing I said I was going to do is let's take off these stabilizers right here. Let's see what happens. Uh, doesn't look any bigger. Oh, it is bigger. Uh, I don't know if I can actually get to it. Okay, right there. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that hurting me? Yeah, it is. Okay, so right there. I feel like it should have gotten a lot bigger or angrier. All right, so here's here's the last one. Uh, right there. Really, dude? Really? Okay, now that it doesn't have stabilizing... Uh, it's a little bigger, but it's disappointingly a little bigger, right? Like, why aren't you eating the world? Why aren't you expanding? You know what? We're going to have to make this worse. All right, so just for purely scientific knowledge here, I've gone ahead and cheated in a creative bin full of nether stars so we can throw stacks and stacks at this thing just because I want to know, right? And I think nether stars... Oh, Nelly! I think nether stars were a pretty good thing. It blew up the anomaly. Like, I 100% was not expecting it to blow up the anomaly. I was expecting it to eat everything there was. All right, now we know. <laughs> that was I figured it would wreck this entire area. All right, uh, let me get rid of these nether stars, and then we're going to go do one last thing. Okay, so the last thing that I want to do is, you know, looking in the book here, when we go to the space chapter... Uh, right there, rocketry, which suddenly is a lot less done than it was before, right? Like, rocketry only says 85%. It was 100% earlier. I'm just trying to see what have I not done. I think it's all these extra quests down here. Well, it's like telescope. Uh, no, it seems like lots of stuff is done. Yeah, I think it's these, like, for every quest, there's, like, two of them, right? Get the schematic. And then right here was get the schematic. So that's tier eight rocket. And this is tier seven rocket. I'm not sure, right? Like something changed with an update. But this very last one was black hole. And even it says I'm on the overworld. 
Uh, I'm not sure that we've actually completed that, and you know what? I want to do it. So let's go and take our electric rocket, you know, for the last time, and let's go blast off to the black hole. All right, so in this guy and roll out. Oh, I can see myself. Hey, dude, we're out. All right, so up in space at the selection screen, there is black hole right here. And where are you? Like, are you out on the periphery here somewhere? You know, like, I feel like there's a lot more stuff that just didn't get included. Kepler 62, Kepler 69, and Kepler 47. All right. So black hole. Uh, hold on. I just want to see where you are. Click again to zoom. Okay, so you're on the outer edge. Oh, you're a black hole. Duh, that's why I couldn't see you. All right, let's launch and see what happens. And I landed here. Like, I totally wasn't expecting that. Um, where's my rocket and stuff? Uh, dude, what is going on? Can I fly? Uh, no, there's like limited gravity. Sometimes with this chest plate, I got to take it on and off. Like, is this it? Did we win? Are we, are we done? Uh, that feels very wrong. Like, I didn't even get my rocket back. Okay, well, so I think that's the end of the series right there. We're trapped in the uh, void overworld dimension with this little 10x10 platform as their only company. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed the series. Thank you all for so much support with this. It was super duper fun to play. I love playing a uh, quest book pack every once in a while. So, for the last time, I'm 47 Mark IV. This was Astro Block. Uh, please hit the like button if you like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And then I will see you in another series.